Anastasia Christie, please unmute yourself and you may now start your speech. Good afternoon, judges. Good afternoon, everyone. I bet half or even more of everyone here have ever had the feeling that our self is not worth it and don't deserve any compliment or praise. Yes, here I am feeling the same way back in my high school. I could say that it was the hardest time for me. I had no attention of the future, inconsistent, and didn't dare to challenge myself in everything. Actually, I was not a naughty student, but I thought that it was a time to enjoy with friends rather than study. And one day, one of my relatives asked my parents about who had the intention to learn among my siblings. My parents said that I had never tried to study and only cares about friends. She even said that I am more concerned with friendship more than family. The words that come out from my parents' mouth hit me like a truck. My head was filled with dark clouds and all consisted of me telling myself that I was worthless. Like someone who could not do any better in life. However, those words that pull me down is also the one that helped me to stand up tall on my feet. Ever since then, I have decided I didn't want to feel worthless anymore. I want to do something that could make my parents and importantly, myself proud, myself feel worthy. I try my best to concern about my education and even satisfy my sleep time during examination. But I don't got a good grade. I cried the whole night thinking about what potential I have. What should I do to make my parents and myself proud. All I need is my parents to see my hard work and want them to praise me for trying. At the same time, I don't have the courage to tell them that I got a bad result. I didn't deserve the praise I want. Also one time, I was so confident about my report result because I have done a great job, but again, it turns out so disappointing. I was ranked 25 out of 40 students I feel so useless. I cry and my parents say, doesn't matter about how the result turns out. You have already used all of your effort and we know it. The most important is your effort, not the result. We didn't see the result, but your effort. Rather than feel touched, I feel so relieved after hearing this word. Because I keep on thinking that I'm worthless, I'm useless. People doesn't see me like how I want, I want them to see me. But I realized that word is not needed to describe how worthy or unworthy we are as a human. But all needed is how we see ourselves. From that time, I do everything with all of my heart. Doesn't matter about the result. I think I deserve a praise and I deserve to be proud of myself. Everyone, please repeat this after me. I am worthy not because how people define me, but I am worthy because I believe I am. I am Anastasia Christie. Thank you. Well done, Anastasia. Thank you for your amazing speech. Right now, I would like to invite Mr. Arvind Poo for giving questions and feedbacks. For Mr. Arvind Poo, time and place is yours. Okay, thank you, Jocelyn. Anastasia, right? Okay, so you mentioned that you have tried a lot of things in the past, right? A lot of things, uh, even you ended up not successfully gaining what you want to actually gain, right? So just say now you are joining this uh, investor as an open hub, okay? And you could not, you, you, you were not successfully, just say, uh, go to the top 20, right? Uh, at least. So what will you do? Uh, thank you, sir, for the question. So actually, if I fail by uh, winning the ambassador of UPH, uh, maybe I could maybe try another event or just to, because in the past I was so improper that I cannot even speak in front of public. But here I could develop my skill and I think it is 
uh, really a new thing for me and it was a uh, really a uh, big knowledge for me to learn in this uh, event so i think if i don't pass the ambassador it is okay for me and i could try another one thank you sir